Mm-hmm. Taylor, what would your biggest fear be if you were to step into the ring? Like, what are you afraid of? Uh-uh. Injury? I'd want to make sure I was very, very pleased with how my, my body looked before I got in the you ring. I'd be, I'd be self-conscious about that. And... Other than that, and like wanting to look good, I would just be like, okay, lose. If you're going to lose, like if it becomes obvious that you're losing, stretch it out in a way that's not embarrassing and like get to the timer. Like that would be my thought. Like the worst fear would be like getting in there, feeling fat, and then getting the shit kicked out of me and just waking up a little wealthier on the ground. So like that would, I, that's going to be somebody's I, reality. Kyle, yeah. I'll, I'll go next, but like, yeah, I already said Here's, that the humiliation of just being beaten by another man, especially in public, because like if it was private, it wouldn't bother me. If some dude knew he had beaten me up, that doesn't bother me because he earned it. He beat me up. But I just don't want everybody to know. You know, like that was what I was afraid of in high school when I, it was like, fuck, I don't want everybody to see me get beaten up. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I was never afraid of the it's bad optics. <laughs> Here's my yeah. thing. I, I just want to conduct myself with courage. Like ideally I win. Maybe I lose. But everyone should leave thinking that, like, I wasn't scared that I gave it my all. I, mm. I'm close enough to fit that I'm pretty sure I can look good, you know, yeah, you look with, good. With, you a look few, right with a few weeks' yeah. notice. Um, so, so, like, I, I can get that under control. I don't want to be embarrassed, but my, the, the cause of embarrassment, I don't want to be a pussy. I don't want it's to step in the ring. It's a lot easier for you to step in. Mm-hmm. You, for you, I think it's the easiest decision because, like, you look amazing for like your age. And <laughs> On I, don't, a curve, I don't think you right? I I, and it's not just the curve. Like, like you look amazing for somebody like 10 years younger than you. Like, like, like my neighbor's fucking a doughy cocksucker and he's like 25. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you, you look great. So like, like you, there's very few ways for you to lose face doing a YouTube boxing type thing because you have like a year's worth of boxing training and like, a couple years worth of jujitsu training. Like you getting roughed up is not a fear. You getting in there and like mixing it up with another dude. There's no fear there. Like, and I saw your dance competition. <laughs> Humiliation does not phase you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> off my house he embraces it. See, that's, that's exactly why you would handle that seamlessly. You didn't give a fuck about dancing like a goober. You were just like, I, I don't give a shit. I'm already an adult. All these children that I am in the same <laughs> league with, like, like and that, honestly, that probably was a big thing. It's like even Kyle, like who was older in that group of us, you know, like we were all in that way more kind of over socialized, hypersensitive about like what will people think. And Woody was the one late thirties, like I don't care. I have children. <laughs> I will dance. You want me to put a tutu on as long as the check clears, yeah. bitch? Like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, I, I don't have maybe the self confidence to, to to do that. I wouldn't have wanted. I, I I think I'd be a bad dancer too. I I, I don't like to dance. Woody at a party. Uh, we went to a party one time, and my girlfriend wanted to dance with the girl I was with anyway. And I'm like, you want to talk to Woody? Or maybe Woody was like, I'll take you. Like yeah. one way or the other. That I was like, Kitty. Uh, <laughs> who was that? No, the, girl that, the oh, apple chick. Um, um, what? Jess? I Justine maybe. Oh. He would dance with everybody. Yeah, it was at yeah, the, yeah. it was I Justine's party. It might have could been. have been. I don't know. Yeah, Damn. high rollers. So, but. so Taylor, you're worried about looking good. Here's the thing: neither me or Wings are ever going to look good. So that's out of the question. Mm. We don't have to worry mm. about that. And what are you afraid of? Like not looking brave. Like yeah. here's the thing: uh, me and Wings cannot look anything other than brave because this is just a stupid idea for both of us, right? Like we're facing some insurmountably. Yeah. stupid stupid decision making uh and I mean, we're facing some really big fears like of like yeah. i'm down yeah <laughs> yeah and i think that's i think that's one of the reasons so kyle what would be your biggest fear though oh it's like what it's what i said earlier with any fight like like public or or, or whatever it, it's it's embarrassing to be beaten up by another dude it, and it's uh because um i, I mean I, I i would look fine i would probably be the bigger stronger guy uh, come fight time unless they uh, at one point like i was I've, I've been offered a fight it was in the fucking bare knuckle boxing league you may have heard of with the professionals against a former ufc contender 
That's what I got offered. <laughs> Diego he said, he said, maybe. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Kyle and said, I yes. Said that Diego back down. Find the... Yeah. I, 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 what I did was, Diego I, was on the fucking hell contract. Fuck, I said, hell fucking no in private, but in public, I dogged him relentlessly. So he was on, <laughs> so he's on, he's on Instagram. He's like, I know he's all juiced up, but I've fought against guys like that before. I'll take him on. And it's like, dude, you are really just. Biting the apple here, you just... <laughs> <laughs> you're biting the fish hook, is yeah, taking yeah, the bait, taking him down the road with me, and uh, I don't know, I, I like fucking with people, I guess, especially somebody like that, because I know Diego, like I'm a fan of Diego's, I suppose, like not in the way that like I root for him, but like I've watched that guy every every fight. I, mm -hmm. He has some, he has one of the. There's a few moments, like if you were to watch like a montage of the UFC's history, where like some big things happen. Brock Lesnar did some crazy shit here and there. But there's one where Diego Sanchez walked out frothing at the mouth, foaming at the mouth, screaming something. I think it was prayers while holding a big crucifix, not a wooden one, but like a like, like one of those Catholic bedazzled crucifixes like you take to get <laughs> Dracula plastic. with. Yeah. He had like an anti-Dracula crucifix. And he's coming out. He's just like, fucking father, father, no, 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 no. he's like screaming some sh crazy shit. And it's like, dude, you're about to fight a man. And then, like, his last fight before he really, like, I think it might have been his last fight in the UFC. I think he was foaming at the mouth during the fight, like, like a, like, in a weird, creepy kind of like, are you rabbit or something kind of way? Like white stuff at the corner of his mouth. It was crazy. They want me to fight that motherfucker. <laughs> no. And you would have won. And I stand by that. And I would encourage you to pursue. Jesus, it. let me beat it up Linus Tech Tips or something.